Okay, let's do a plastic material and this is uh, what we're aiming for today. And for you that only want to see the nodes, it looks something like this. So we have the smudge, the unevenness, the noise, the dents and the scratches. But before you go and use a fancy procedure material, as you can see here, the render times will really go up. Okay, but let's take it from the beginning. And I want to select my lunchbox. I want to create a new material. So I press new and let's call this plastic. And to be able to work efficient, I also want to activate the Node Wrangler add-on. So let's go to edit preferences and you search for Node Wrangler and activate it. Great. Now when this is done, I want to decide the color of my uh, plastic thing and I want this lunchbox to be red. And this plastic material is going to be really simple at first, but then I'm going to add more and more details. So now we've got the color, but we don't have the correct roughness. And roughness is how shiny an object is, and this is one of the most important values for the plastic. And I think a good plastic value is 0.265. And the next step, I think, is to add some smudge, because imperfection is what makes things look realistic. So let's select the principal ESDF and press Ctrl T. We don't need the image texture and we can drag the object to the vector. And uh, to add the smudge, I think we need a noise texture. Put it here and drag the vector to the vector and we can take the factor to the roughness. And right now it came quite dull, so um, we need to fix this. But let's start up looking at what the noise texture does. Let's press Ctrl Shift and left click on noise texture. And right now I think the noise is too uh, big, so we need to scale this up, uh, maybe up to somewhere here. And I also want more details. And to be able to control this more, I also want to add a color ramp. So let's search for a color ramp and just drag it in here between the factor and the roughness. And now we can drag the black over here. And as you can see, we don't see anything right now. So let's press Ctrl Shift, left click this one. And if you accidentally click one time too many, you just accidentally go to the alpha channel, just click again. And now I want to drag this closer, something like this. Great. And if we now look on uh, the material, it's, it's really rough it's dull or really shiny so we need to control this even more so we can just drag this over here and to do this we need a map range node so let's press shift a search for the map range and this will control how shiny or how dull the material will be and we want set the to min to 0.2 and to the max to 0.26 maybe. And if we now look at the material, it is as we want it to be. It's really discreet smudges like that. Great. And now we want to try to be organized. So uh, we can, I used to use one, two different ways to do this. One way is to press Ctrl J to add frames that we can name over here, smudge. Or we can select and press Ctrl G and we have created a group and we start in the group. So if we press tab, you can see here we have a group and you can also name this smudge. But I actually want to work with the um, frames for now. So let's just right click and ungroup and we have our smudge here. Great. The next thing I think is important to create a realistic plastic is to have unevenness because the surfaces are not even so we need to fix this because right now this surface is completely perfect and to do this we need to have an other noise texture noise like that and we also want to add a bump because this is the one that's going to help us create the bumps and we take the vector into the vector and the factor into the height and the normal into the normal. And as you can see, something is happening. It's really trying to make the bump 
go out everywhere. So uh, let's start to control this. Let's press control shift, left click on the noise texture. And I want to scale this up again. Somewhere here. And if you look at on the bump, control shift, let's click. As you can see, it's really, really bumpy. So let's scale this down. I think somewhere maybe 0 0.02 would be fine. Small bumps, maybe I want to take them up a little bit. So it's and let's look at material. Yeah, you can uh, maybe go up to 0 0.3. So you just do what you feel is suitable for your plastic material. And I want another frame, so let's press Ctrl J and name this to Unevenness. I will understand. And the next step I think is to add some uh, texture feeling to the plastics. And to do this, we need to add a noise uh, texture again, but we can actually take this frame, press Control Shift D, so we can keep this um, connection. Let's just rename it to noise texture. And let's look on the noise. Look, and I want this to be crazy high. Maybe, okay, maybe 3000. Like really, really small dots. And I think we can take up the details maybe to yeah, five. And the roughness down to 0.1. And I always used to start out with the bump on one so I can really see what's happening. And let's take the bump into the bump and we take if you have several bump maps you want to take that normal into that normal and that norm into the final normal okay so let's look what's happening here if we press ctrl shift let's click on the bump it's really adding a hard surface and like this but it's too much let's lower this down a lot maybe we start by 0.1 Still is too hard and we need to go even lower. So let's press 0 0.05. Ah, let's take it 0 0.02. Let's press Control Shift left click. And let's look at the material right now. And I think it's starting to look really good. This is a nice plastic material, but let's add even more details. So if this lunchbox have uh, been with us for a while maybe it have some dents so to create the dents i want to add an, uh, start out with another noise texture let's press ctrl shift d drag this down and i think actually we can drag this down as well we can take this away and to do the dents i want to um, start up by naming the frame dents I actually want to combine two noise textures. The first noise texture, I think, okay, we need to lower this to 10 now. Let's drag it up to somewhere 60, maybe. And I want the details to be lower and the roughness to be 0.5 and the lunar, yeah, the lunar curiosity, we we'll call it somewhere around three let's add another noise texture so let's press shift d to duplicate it put it over here let's look upon this one and this one i want to be really low maybe 0.5 and uh, let's set this to zero and this to zero and to be able con to control it even more we need another color ramp so let's press shift a search for the color ramp put it over here if you drag this down we cannot see anything right now and i think we actually need to use the color intervector and sometimes when you're looking for the color ramp it might be hard to see then it will be easy to look through the bump so Control shift let click wait for the information and let's just bump the bump map up to one 
to really see what's happening and here you can see okay so if you take the white all the way to right we will have dents all over the place and we don't want that so let's scale it down until where we are happy so just a small dent and bruises like that and i want them to really small to me 0.2 yeah great and to combine several bump maps let's take this normal down to this normal and this normal up to normal and let's check it out Control shift let's click yeah so we have a small dent there and another dent up here great let's just organize us a little bit and the last step is bad some scratches and just keep in mind every step you do in the procedural details will add to the rendering time we we'll start out with a noise texture let's put it here and drag the vector into the vector we also want to have a bore noise texture let's put it here and drag the vector into the vector uh, and we later want to combine them so we can already now press ctrl shift right click and drag over here and we get a mix node okay so let's start up with the noise texture Control shift let's click uh, and we want the scale to be much higher around 80 somewhere there and then we want the details to be 14 and we also want to um, control this even more so let's add a color ramp put it here and we also want another color ramp for the war noise texture but let's start out with the noise texture so we want to add where it's black it we want the war noise texture to show and the war noise texture we want this to be distant to edge and we we scale this up to around 70 maybe yeah something like that uh, and let's max up the details and the roughness might be good at uh, 0.392 can maybe drag this to 1.8 and randomness let's we can play around with it a little bit so everywhere where the noise texture is black we want the war noise texture to uh, appear so let's start out by dragging down this white so we only have grayish areas in a few places and then we also want to adjust the Voronoi texture so let's go into the call ramp we want this to be the cracks to be much more uh, distinctive so let's drag this down to something really really low yeah something like that and we actually want the Voronoi texture to go into the factor and we also want to add a bump shift a a bump oops and we want the result to go into the height and if you now look upon the bump it just cracks all over the place and we don't want that so something is wrong and i think it's this b value this must be set to complete white and now it's starting to look like we want maybe we can drag up the randomness to one again and as you can see now we have a, a lot of scars and stuff in the plastic and we can adjust this with uh, this color ramp for noise texture as if we drag it all the way up we can see everything but if we only want the scratches in a small places we can just drag it down so great so this is the we can create a frame control j and we call it scratches and then we take this normal into this normal and that normal up to that normal and let's just control shift and look upon the final material great it's a really nice 
launch box. And if you now want to adjust this material for another object, let's just click on this cup over here and choose the plastic. Uh, and we can press here to duplicate this material. And let's call this plastic yellow. Like that. And let's change the color to something yellowish. I want this piece to be the noise should be much more apparent so uh, let's make this a lot higher yeah and maybe even more dense great so it's quite easy and here I can see my dense are too deep so we need to change that to maybe 0.1 did I forget to do this on this one as well yeah it's just point two on that one great and uh, the last two tips I want to give about plastics is if we take this object over here let's just add uh, bread plastic and I actually don't want any scratches in this one at all so we can just oops let's duplicate the material first so maybe plastic green let's just delete all the scratches and drag this normal into the normal and let's look upon it really really close so if you have maybe a shampoo bottle or something like that that is letting some of the light through it's not transparent but it's translucent as it's called so let's add a translucent node and first let's set this to green maybe a bit darker like that so let's shift a and search for translucent like that control shift drag over here and we get a mixed shader so the light that's getting through let's set that color to something lighter than the other color that is the primary color and then we also want to if you look this is the translucent shader and this is the ordinary shader so let's just drag this a little bit down so we get some of the translucent feeling into this material uh, and now we can get the shampoo bottle effect so another tip is to add some details to your plastic materials some uh, manufacturing artifacts like this one so what i have done here is just an easy plane where i have moved the vertices and then just add a solidify modifier to this yeah so this is uh, one way to make uh, realistic shaders and many of the imperfections that we made are also applicable to other materials such as steel and uh, such so thanks for watching and good luck with your plastic objects bye